Okay, uh, so today we're just taking a look at uh, Citron's uh, TH320 temperature transmitter and just the basic setup and configuration using Siemens Process Device Manager, which is this application that we've got open here. Um, to connect up to the transmitter, what you have to do, you have to have it uh, loop supplied, 24 volts. You need to have a modem, a hot modem, and that has to be connected to the device on the test connections. You open uh, PDM and start a new project. We'll call this one TH320 Demo. And the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to configure our uh, interface, which is the modem. So we are going to add a modem as our communication network. So under networks, we get a heart connection and we're using a heart modem. Okay, so now we have our network added. The important thing is to go to device manager and make sure that we've got our COM port properly configured. So in device manager under COM ports, we have a look, we've got Viator USB hot interface and it's configured to COM port 3. Go back to PDM and configure our COM interface. And it's assigned to COM port 1, so if we attempted to communicate with the TH320 we wouldn't be able to, so we change that to 3. The next step is we're going to add the object, and the object is the TH320. So we're going to insert new object and assign the device type. And what you can do if everything is connected correctly, it should automatically detect the device. You don't have to go through the list and pick it up manually. As we can see, it's automatically detected the device. So we make sure that that's highlighted and click OK and OK again. And here we can see we've got our device connected. So we're going to open that object. Now what we've got to open is a blank project. And what we want to do firstly is we want to upload the actual configuration that's inside the device. And to do that, we're going to go upload to the PG or PC, click on that, and start. And you'll see the progress. So as we can see, uh, the download is now complete. We'll close that. And this is now the configuration in the transmitter. And you would now go through and you could edit the tag. And you could, uh, the date that it was programmed. And then you would come down and you could change the top if you wanted to set it to a PT100. PT100 would you go. So a PT100, let's make that a three wire and you can, uh, we've got our upper and lower range values uh, so let's make this one 50 degrees and once you're happy with your uh, with your configuration you're now going to do the reverse okay so what we're going to do now that we have our configuration set up we're going to download to the device. So we select download to device. And we just want to load the change parameters. We don't want to load all of them. We can see here the load to device, the action is finished. That means we've successfully uploaded the configuration. If we close. And we'll see now the, the transmitter is in maintenance mode. And the reason for that, if we go to the device status, 
we can see that that's because there isn't a sensor connected to the transmitter. However, the configuration has been loaded correctly, so as soon as we do connect a sensor, we'll have a functioning temperature measuring device.